Okay, for today's video, we're back in the garage just to do a quick vlog style update on the Mustang project, as well as some updates on the vet. Joined by my co-host Lily here, who's really excited to be out here. Um, for those that don't know, I live in East Texas. It's approaching 100 degrees now almost every day. I think it's like 97 today. So I picked up this AC unit last week. Uh, that's been keeping me busy getting that set up and sealing off the garage doors. I got to put up some reflectics here. This is going to go in the windows to hopefully keep the temps down. But with it being about 96 out here, the AC unit's doing well enough for, you know, it seems to shave about 8 to 10 degrees. So it's bearable. Also, recently picked up a welder. Uh, when I moved from Minnesota to Texas, I lost my welding buddies. They all lived in Minnesota, so gonna have to reteach myself how to make. So got this whole setup going over the last week or so. New uh, welding bench. I'll, I'll put a video together later about my review and some of my crappy welds. The Mustang in and of itself, uh, I've been working on getting the doors working, picked up, because this was all cut apart new window switches, new door switches, and we're kind of getting at these doors and looking, all the hardware is just junk, so talk to late model restoration and have new door lock actuators, new door lock cylinders, no handles. I got a new latch coming for the trunk because that's gone, or hatch rather. Uh, in, in that box is the old wiring harness because the guy I scored this thing from was just a hack. He cut the harness completely. So over there on this box, got the new harness to thread in. A couple of one of the switches that I'm going to be relocating the dash is a trunk release. But essentially for this car, I want the electrical functions to make it a street car still work. So window power windows, power locks, all lighting, and um, when I put in a race pack or gauge panel, that'll work. That's it. I'll probably put in a vent style AC. Uh, for just heat, uh, but that's really it. So most of this wiring harness is going to be stripped away in the next couple of weeks. I'll tidy that up, I'll button that up, I'll get the locks working, get the door lock cylinders in, get the doors opening and closing cleanly. Currently, the driver's side door handle works, the passenger side door handle is cracked and busted. So I get to crawl inside and pull the lock rod every time I open this up. Be working on that. I'll have some updates around these floor panels. I'm going to try to just weld in some small pieces to fix it versus cutting this all out because we we're, we're pretty shot here but like this is pretty solid this is solid this is solid but this is shot so I'll, I'll be cutting this up over the next week or two and welding in some panels that side's in much better shape we have got to pull the sound deadener there and pull the sound deadener here the rest of it's already all stripped out back here we're cleaning up uh, some wiring as well, so I'll be re-threading the wiring in up to the hatch, put the spoiler back on, put the trim pieces that I've pulled off the car back on that I plan on keeping, mount the headlights, and then we'll start working on the motor. So I got an 1840 Elgin Sloppy Stage 2, if you will, cam coming. Valve springs already showed up, oil pump already showed up. Um, it's going to get MLS gaskets and studs. I'll strip it all down, we'll gap the rings, make sure everything looks good on the underside from a bearing perspective, and get that ready to go. I'll try to drop it in without the truck manifolds on. When I'm looking up here, I haven't decided on a K-member yet, I'm really, really leaning towards a PA Racing one, but I think there's going to be room to drop the 5.3 in. I may have to run a cowl hood, but I like the idea of the truck intake. And then I'll flip the truck manifolds and have them forward facing and put a pair of Borg Warners on the end of those. Um, throw an air to air in a cooler and a radiator and that'll be that. Run some piping and done. Gonna back it with the TH400. I don't have a transmission here yet, or sorry. I'm gonna back it with the 4L80E. Originally I was gonna go with the TH400, but I want the overdrive. I want the overdrive if I'm gonna do like a Rocky Mountain Race Week or something. So we'll put a 4L80E in it. I'll have to beat up the tunnel a little bit, it's no big deal. And then, once the motor's in, the trans is in, the fab setup's done, then I'll work on a roll cage install. Uh, most likely have that sublet out, unless I really pick back up my welding skills to MIG weld in a mild steel cage. Last update is not for the Mustang, it's for the VET, so still working on trying to get that into the 10s. Last video is at the track, doing a little bit of 
practice launching, and I'm really struggling getting that twin disc to engage the way I wanted to. So someone on the Corvette forums was going to an automatic setup, and they sold me this. This is a Magnus launch controller. So essentially it's a line lock solenoid that you can adjust the slip right here and activate it via push button or whatnot. I'm gonna tie this into my two-step so it's only activated when the two-step is energized and the system's ready to go. So I have a master on switch and the two-step. And then once the two-step's off, the clutch engagement will disengage and will work on that. So that way it doesn't affect my street driving. And then also came with a tick master adjustable master cylinder. Or, yeah, adjustable clutch cylinder. And that'll be helpful as well. I've run in stock hydraulics right now. So hopefully this with the new manifold we'll get it into the 10s NA. Right now it's running 1120s, 1130s. So we just need to get out of the hole a little bit harder. Um, and then I'll just run it with a 100 shot and see what it runs and probably get sent home because I'm not putting a cage in that car. And then the last update for the Mustang again, I picked up these welds, these 18 by 10s. They've got these 275 ET Street radials on it. It's a 25.8 inch tire. I'm gonna to try to run a 28 on this thing eventually, but this will be really good for mock-up. So I've got a chassis shop that I'm going to have most likely do. I mean, you see the tires that are on it right now are just junk anyway. But I got a chassis shop that's gonna put some nine inch ends on the 88. So this I'll uh, see if I can, I've got a couple ideas of how I can get these five bolt lugs to, five bolt wheels to sit on the four bolt lugs. Uh, drop a couple of lugs out, but I just want them to sit in there just for mock-up purposes. I know I got to pull the quad shocks. I know I'm going to have to massage the inner fender walls a little bit, but once I get these 25s to fit, 25.8 inch diameter tires to fit, I'll just make sure I've got enough clearance. I'll roll the lips on the fenders here, and then I should be able to be good to run up to a 28. And that's it. It's going to be a 275 car on a radial. So these were perfect. I picked them up out of Waco. And pretty decent condition. I like weld wheels. That's gonna be an Andre car, and I just gotta find a good pair of front runners to match. So that's a basic update on the Mustang. Keep tuned for more videos. Uh, Lily and I are gonna get to work here. Well, she's already working, as you can see. But we're gonna get the locks working this weekend on the Fourth of July. We're gonna get the latches working. We'll get the wiring back here tucked up. Maybe we'll do a little bit of welding, and I'll try to get a couple more videos up in the next week. Thanks, everyone.